Just a cup of coffee, thanks. Okay, I got a nice fresh pot, made it up for the dinner crowd. Uh, no, uh, is Ruby around? Nah, she took the day off. Well, that's too bad. She's usually my auxiliary pipeline to what's going on in the waterfront. Huh. Try me. What? Oh, what are you looking for? You're looking for rumors, a little rumbling, that sort of thing, huh? Yeah, scuttlebutt. Well, what do you want to know? Well, I just saw Jimmy and Lee and his construction workers making, doing their work over at the low-cost housing project. Yeah, a bunch of the guys came in here for a beer. Well, I tried to get it out of Jimmy Lee, but I sure would like to know who put up the money for the completion so my people can move in next week. Yeah, I, I got nothing on that, you know. Even the guys were wondering about that. You did know that Jimmy Lee is paying for the whole thing out of his own pocket. You know, he's not making a dime on this job. It's a manna from heaven. Who is this anonymous donor? Hi, Sid, you were here. Hi, Just got back from the airport. You free to talk? Sure, have a seat. What can I uh, do for you? Two things, really. First, I'd like to know why you went to Florida, if you don't mind telling me. All right. Turns out that's where Brock made his secret little trip to. You come up with anything? Yeah, we tracked him to Palm Beach. The trail after that led on to Miami. Now, it appears that he probably met up with a PI down there, a guy called Garvey. Probably a lowlife. You're thinking Brock went to Florida to get more information on Bobby. It's possible. He also could have gone on a completely different matter about somebody else. I'd like to think that. But you don't. Well, I'm not saying that. It's just that... I've got to have some facts. I don't mind telling you. I'm up against it on this one. Yeah, I know. But at least that tells me you're not happy with the DA's case. No, I'm not. I've still got too many unanswered questions, like where is the third bullet out of that gun? And you're still the person that shot Brock. We both know that's unlikely. Yeah. What about this Garvey character? Well, I still haven't spoken to him yet. As a matter of fact, my secretary, uh, I checked with her. He hasn't called in. His uh, answering machine did say that he was going to be out of town for a couple of days. But the point is that um, whether this guy is honest or dishonest, I've still got to find out why Brock called him the morning before he went to Florida. But we've got no proof that they actually met up in Miami. Yeah, but it's most likely that they did. I've got to have facts. Well, the DA has facts. All adds up right now to circumstantial evidence. Enough for murder in the second, at least in this state. Well, he says he has enough. You said you had two things to talk to me about. Yeah. Gail called me. She did a psychological profile on Brock. I'm sure this will come as no surprise to you. A man comes up psychotic. The kind of man a woman could kill if she had a mind to. You know, I would be nuts to submit this stuff as evidence. <laughs> you can be pretty sure the DA is going to have a similar profile if we get a court on this. Mind if I have a look? FYI? My eyes only. What about the DA? Well, as far as I'm concerned, this is uh, what's called attorney's privilege material. I think it's your work product, I believe. Yep. Something I've got to tell you. What's that? Holly's going to talk with Bobby. Now, technically, you should be there. Holly? If Bobby was to say anything, Holly would have to tell me. Got it? I'll scrub you. I trust Holly. I'll take that camel. Can you believe it? This ring is a key to a tomb. Yeah, but not likely your, your ancestor's tomb. Now, the key to that one was the, the scepter. That's why Peter stole it in the first place. Yes, but think about it. People were after this ring. They were willing to kill for it. Yes, but Felicia, that was typical. Now, for example, the Eldorado gold mine in Arizona. Now, that was really never discovered, yet men died because someone thought they had found it. Mm. Human greed brings uh, tragic events, my dear. My great-grandmother did not tell me about this treasure to bring tragedy, Professor. Well, of course not. She related it uh, uh, as a myth, uh, just as you will to your children. So you're saying I'll just leave them a myth, then? Well, perhaps a better word would be dream. It, it makes for a more romantic life. <laughs> Don't let him discourage you like this, huh? Oh? No, no, go with your own instincts. 
Do I dare? One of my mottos in life is dare anything. Dare anything? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bye-bye. Come on in. Oh, hi, honey. Let me get in. I need some coffee. If you don't Come on in. Come on in. Come on. I heard the order. Coffee coming right up. Thank you. Come on, sit at the table. Right. We have a few minutes before the babysitter wants to leave. I'm telling you, that wind coming off the water is so cold, honey. It's impossible for hey. me to walk. Thank you. What are you doing here? Well, I went to the spa for a couple hours. Then I called home, found out you weren't there yet. Then I heard about the crew starting up work again, and I figured you'd still be down here. Oh. Can't tear yourself away, can you? You know, I can't tell you, it's such a kick to see Jimmy Lee and his construction workers doing their work now. Yeah. Must be a big weight off of your shoulders. I'm off my conscience, too. Ah, you've done it, you've done it. I sure would like to know who this anonymous donor is. They're the one that's really responsible. Well, honey, take credit yourself. You pulled it through. And I, for one, wouldn't mind you smile for a change. Oh, listen, I'm not complaining. I mean, with all the sweat and grief, there's a real deep, deep happiness. <sighs> I'm glad. You know, if you got involved with people that are less privileged, you might know the happiness I know from time to time. Well, seeing you smile doesn't hurt me at all, honey. Well, the thing is... I don't think you'll be able to share this sort of happiness with me. What's the matter with you? Alicia. Oh, come on. She's charming. She warms a man's heart on a cold winter's day. She's exactly the opposite effect on me. Why do you encourage her like that? Why? It's deliberate. It's dangerous. She, she's bright, quick, you're smart, you know. And she's hanging out with some very knowledgeable people at the university. No, I know. You know, so, so why do you deliberately, as you say, encourage her? First, in the long run, I, I don't think I could discourage her. And secondly, don't you think it's, it's wise for me to have her keep in contact with me? But the point is, Juan, the more that Felicia keeps in contact with me, the more I learn about how close she's getting to the secret of the treasure. Forewarned is forearmed. Eh? Yes. But don't worry about it. I've got it under control. Why don't we just enjoy the adventure of our plan and enough of this gloom and doom, huh? There's been enough doom and gloom around here. I think you ought to get out for a while. <laughs> well, uh, are you going to stay a while, Miss Scorpio? Oh, yes. Yeah, we'll uh, get out and have a little pizza, play a little soft music, and I'll tell you the good news. Good news? Yeah, the best. Good, so go. Go. All right, all right. Are you, yeah. you going to be all right? I'm fine. All I'm right. Fine. You have a good time. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. I'll get her back early. Don't get her back early. I'm fine. Really. Have fun. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Bye. Bye. Uh, we'll... Bye. Bring back some pizza. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. We're still having trolleys, huh? Hey, do you like some trolleys? I love it. Hey, you okay? Yeah, thanks. Okay, back to Florida. Holly, I honestly don't know what Brock would be doing in Florida. He wasn't getting information about me because he knew everything there was to know about my past. Are you sure? You reminded me of it so many times. My mind is very fresh. Okay, so let's... Let's say the Brock hired the private investigator for business matter. Let's play around with that idea for a while. When he came back that morning, he did say something about business. Something about some deal that he was hoping would come through. What did it? No. No. I remember now he said it hadn't. But that doesn't fit. You remember something. But that has nothing to do with what happened later. You don't know that. What, what doesn't fit? Well, usually when a deal falls through, Brock would be furious. And he wasn't this time. No. He was up. He was in wonderful spirit. But did you ask him about the trip? Yes, I told you. Uh, no, no, what I'm after is, did he say anything about the trip other than the business? No. Go but. on. Well, do he had a very dark complexion. But even so, I noticed that he had more color. So, I teased him about his mysterious trip. How? 
he was acting very affectionate. And I said something like, oh, well, I know where you've been on your mysterious trip. And he stiffened. And then I said something like, oh, you've been to the Bahamas. And what did he say? I don't remember what he said. But he seemed relieved. About your saying the Bahamas? Yes. And then after that, he was very agreeable. He was darling. So maybe his trip was successful. But he didn't say it was. But he was agreeable, amenable. Yeah. And he stayed pretty much like that for the next couple of days. Yeah. Till the night of the party. Well, this is very odd. You mean he's saying that the deal didn't come through, but then acting as though it did? Yes. You didn't mention of this, any of this when you were being questioned, did you? Well, no, Holly. I didn't even think about it until we started talking. What does this have to do with what happened later? Well, he said that the trip wasn't successful. Yes. And yet he was acting as though it were. Yeah. So it must be important. Why? Well, I'm going to let Robert figure that out. 